A bead is a small decorative object that is pierced for threading or stringing. Beads range in size from under a millimeter to over a centimeter. Glass, plastic, and stone are the most common materials. Beads are one of the earliest forms of currency used in trade. From the 16th century, a large production of decorative beads was manufactured for the exchange of goods, services, and slaves. Nupe people are Nupoid-speaking people living near the confluence of the Niger and Kaduna rivers in west-central Nigeria. The Nupe people live in the heart of Nigeria, spread over the low basin formed by the two rivers, Niger and Kaduna, where Nupe people popularly refer to Niger as Edu. Glass beads in the northern regions are used as an economic tool, denoting wealth and political power. Mensanga area of Bida plays host to some great people who recycle bottles and glasses into beads. Production of beads from glass scraps and undesired glass beads has a lively presence in Bida town. Imported glass is either formed by melting, potentially adding desired colorants and then shaping the melt into beads. Before you make the fire, you, are, you, are, you, are, you have to pray before setting the fire. So after the prayer, then you settle the fire, then you start working. That is how our forefathers taught us. This work uh, was started from our forefather, that is uh, our ancestors before us. So this work uh, we learned from our forefathers, it's not from us. And uh, we started this thing before the bottom. We can make, look for something like uh, clay and uh, hash and some other things we are used, our forefathers are used to make something and start to uh, produce this bit and that thing is called bikini. Before, it's not the glass we are using. When they reach here, at that time, there was no existence of uh, glass on the bottom at that time. So they themselves, they used to uh, manufacture the raw material by themselves. So the material they use at that time is bikini. So they used to combine uh, potash eh, and uh, sand with other things known to them because they didn't disclose it to, to us. The bottle that uh, when we get the bottle first, we can look some materials we mix with the bottle. When we mix then, we set the fire. When we set the fire, we start putting the bottle. After the bottle has break, we put it inside the fire. When the bottle become red, melt and red. So from there we start producing the beads. You can't go home and combine sand and potash and you want it to become that bikini. It involves some spiritual work again. Then you combine it together. Then you continue boiling it. You see how it will melt, melt like melted uh, sugar. So you leave it there for, for, for at least three days or seven days. Then you to solidify again. It also adds color to our festivities. And it also adds the status to our traditional rulers. And again, we, we the, the most important of it is that we 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 earn money to sponsor our children to school and do any other things. Due to various differences in cultural histories and environmental resources, the people of Bida developed glass traditions distinct from Egypt. 
the relation of this uh, the culture of this tradition is that we are originated from from the Egypt. I think you are here the country called Egypt. But our ancestors were origin, originated from there to this, this place. So from there this work started from there. Then from there they they, they, they our forefathers leave the place and come here. Then the children that are born one after the other they started teaching them this how we are producing the beats. So then from there we mix with the some members of the of the Bida area for their culture. So when the time of occasion come, then everybody show his own what is doing his own area. That's how we started our culture here. There's a whole culture that has been created around glass beads and no pay glass work. And there are people that travel this. I'm very sure tourism around this, just watching them do things in the manual way. Not many people and not many cultures still have manual creation of beads. You know, the beads are sometimes eight millimeters in height. As glass beads making flourish among the Nupe people in Bida, it is the belief of theirs that some form of spirituality is employed in the melting process. Hence, the trade can only be practiced in Mansanga area of Bida. If you set to fire, take a bottle, take it to the fire, if it will come melt. It won't melt, but it will burst. It will just break. Melting the bottle is not an ordinary. It involves some, you have to some certain concussion, some spiritual work, then before you do it. So it's not an ordinary event. That, that is why you can't take it, you can't take it outside the Masaga area to another area because of this spiritual involvement in it. Even an European came and settled down here for certain for some years, learn how to do this work and is able to learn it and be perfect in it. But when he goes back to his country he went there to go and settle it. It, it, it wasn't work, it doesn't work. Due to this involvement of uh, spiritual work. If you want to learn online, you stay with us for some years. Otherwise, it will be difficult. And you can't take this thing to another town or another country to do it, to produce it. You will not be able to do it or lens with this area in Masaga. The Nupe glass beads can further be processed into decorative materials for fashion purposes. But there's a way to make them more contemporary, maybe by combining them with, with gold beads, you know, real gold beads or real silver beads, and, and you know, combining them in a way that it's cool to wear them on, on, the, on the street. It's one of the best things, and we just need to find a way that the beads end up in a finished product that is in more demand so that their work can continue and they can get paid for what they do in a way that they can sustain their, themselves and their families.